Hi guys, it's Thomas here from CO2Base.com. Welcome to this week's Commitments of Traders review. Today we're going to have a look at the fourth CO3 report of this year, and as usual we're going to start off with the changes in commercials positions, so here we go. As you may see, we've got oats on top of our list with a 20% uh, change in commercials positions, 21 in large speculators. Uh, these changes are definitely much larger than average, although we do see greater changes uh, happening. Um, this is, of course, a bear COT chain signal uh, coming after a bit of a decline already in prices, as you can see. So maybe this chain signal is a bit late, but nevertheless, it's uh, something that uh, can uh, push prices even lower in the next couple of days. If we open a five use chart, you can see how extreme this market is. Uh, we are moving away from a bullish COT extreme level um, so and steadily, gradually are going closer towards bearish extreme levels, pretty far away from those very strong high uh, COT extreme levels. Uh, but nevertheless, we're, we're going in that direction. Uh, in relative terms, you may see that we are uh, more towards leaning towards the bearish uh, extreme right now. Of course, we're not surprised after seeing such a rise in prices. Uh, moving on to orange juice, we have a 16% change over there in commercials positions. You can see the change size over here, uh, and you can see that dynamically we are moving towards bullish uh, extreme levels. And if I jump to the five years chart, it's going to be more visible over there. Yes, in relative terms, it's definitely more uh, becoming more and more bullish. Uh, as you may see, of course, we're uh, far away from uh, those strong bullish COT extreme levels that you, that we saw, for instance, here in the beginning of. Uh, 2015 that actually coincided with the bottom in prices as you may see so um, this is uh, happening right now of course the the decline in orange juice may continue and as it does I would uh, expect uh, the COT extreme to rise uh, towards the bullish extreme uh, side of the market uh, S&P 500 is our next market with a 14 percent change you can see the change size over here. Again, we're talking about bearish extreme, uh, bearish COT change. So sorry about that. Uh, a bit larger than average change size. Uh, opening a five years chart, you can see that uh, picture is more, I would say, more bearish than 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 uh, bullish, of course. But um, um, for instance, uh, comparing this to the S and P four hundred markets, definitely not that bearish. So I would say that this would definitely not be the signal that I'd uh, start shorting this market right now. Uh, let's move on and have a look at large speculators, COT Extreme. Yeah, I just talked about the S&P 400. You can see that here we have an all-time COT Extreme, an all-time bearish COT Extreme, uh, both in commercials and in large speculators also. Uh, but it was good just jumping from the S&P 500 market to the S&P 400 market because now you can see that although we have this huge uh, COT extreme in, uh, in this market, you should be very cautious with the entering a trade because of the strong correlation between these markets, obviously. Uh, our next market is the crude oil. Again, all-time COT extreme everywhere. Uh, I mean, at least in large speculators and commercials. Uh, this uh, suggests that this uh, pr uh, the price of crude oil will not um, uh, go higher uh, anymore, at least we, we might expect a bit of a decline coming after this, uh, this signal. Uh, and next market, the last one for the review, we have Cocoa with a 238 report extreme. Jumping to the five years chart, everything becomes more visible. You can see that uh, large speculators and commercials are actually below the zero line, meaning only small speculators are optimistic uh, right now. Nevertheless, uh, this is still uh, it, it, it can still be considered a, um, a bullish uh, extreme because of uh, large speculators and uh, commercials. And if you look at the chart, then uh, you may see that the last time we were at such levels, that actually coincided with similar prices in the cocoa market. And then after that, you can see what happened. So uh, I think it's a, it's a good market and uh, we should have our eyes opened for, for opportunities here. So that is going to be all for this review. Uh, don't forget you can look at other COT charts uh, for free on our COT charts page. You can do a more in-depth and detailed COT analysis over here. I hope you enjoyed this review and I hope to see you next week. Have a great week. Take care. Goodbye.